Hello everybody, I'm Em. Welcome to my channel where we are currently taking a break from cooking through every single one of my 114 cookbooks in order to deal with lockdown. Gaining weight every day, terrified of becoming a giant marshmallow, eating far too much takeout, freaking out at every given opportunity, but staying home and I hope you are too. So where we last left off, I was busy turning a roast chicken into five separate meals. Now I've already done three of those meals and I'm gonna be honest with you, technically I cooked this last week and I had it filmed but I'm only just getting to editing and recording this voiceover now because I have been busy doing other things, playing video games, building houses in The Sims, generally doing anything but video editing. Whatever the case, we're here now and I'm going to tell y'all how to make this really incredible rice bowl which starts with... what the hell does it start with? Let's get to it!
Okay, so obviously you don't need to put in the beans or the sweet corn or the peas if you don't really want to. But I personally like a little bit of texture in my rice. If it's too mushy or if it's just plain rice, I don't really like it all that much. And I think given that we're all currently in lockdown hell, we probably have plenty of time to do lots of things that we normally wouldn't do. I learned how to make a really traditional Chinese dish yesterday. And I also baked croissants from scratch. You know, the things you learn when you're trapped at home all day every day. Can you tell I'm losing it? Whatever the case, I think it's very important that you debone the chicken and then you pan fry it again just to make sure the skin is a little bit crisper. And if you don't remember, the seasoning that I sprinkled on top is basically ginger powder, onion powder, paprika, salt, pepper. You can make up a little batch of that and keep it in store. I generally do have a little bit of that around, so made it a lot easier to just take it out and season my rice with it. So if you can't finish the rice after you've had the rice bowl, uh, what I did the next day, <laughs> making leftovers out of leftovers, what I did the next day was to take the rice and I put it in a little bit of water and then I added maybe a little bit more rice and I brought it to a boil and let it bubble and then you had porridge which you can eat with pickled veggies. Fish is also really really good with it. Canned tuna. Sky's the limit. I hope y'all have learned a little bit about assembling a rice bowl. It is pretty much at this point a whatever you have in the house kind of situation. Don't worry if you don't just happen to have pomegranate seeds lying around. Anything will do. Now, stay home. Please don't go out. Things are kind of crappy right now. But they will get better, hopefully. But they will only get better if we all do our parts and stay home and don't sneeze on people. And generally just wear masks when you go out. Please, because if y'all keep resisting, we're going to be trapped in here until 2021 and then I'm going to go insane. Alright, so thank you very much for your time watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for my next video and because I filmed it last week, I can tell you that it is a very good sandwich made out of the leftover chicken breast. Subscribe if you're interested. Give this video a like, give it a share. I look forward to next time.